I am from Detroit, Michigan, and y'all better come down here to the art fair. It's very nice and lots of nice pieces. All right, I'm here with some three little cuties. Why don't you tell me your names? Preston. Hi. Camille. Hi. Josie. Hi. No? What do you got here? Did you get some fans and some free swag from the art fair? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you yes. get that necklace? Did you make that necklace? Why don't you show everyone so they can see it? It's beautiful. Did you make that one? Yes. Oh, I love that. I love that little leaf you put in there. It's gorgeous. So are you guys having fun at the art fair today? Yeah. No. Yes. No? Is yes. it too hot for you? Yes. It's hot, but it's nice. Did you eat anything good today? No. Nope. We just ate cookie dough. Oh, uh, that's pretty good, I'd say. That's pretty yummy to eat, isn't it? We're going there now. Oh, yeah? Do you want to say hi to any friends at school or anything before you go? Yes. Who do you got to say hi to? Your mom and dad, your cousins, mm, your friends? My friends. Look at the camera and say hi. Hi. You want to shout out to any people? You know? Hey. Names? Uh, hi, Sydney. <laughs> That's my best friend's name. Do you have a best friend? Um, hi, Ryan. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Joey, David, and George. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Hi, my name is Janie. I live in the Napper, and I uh, and I like the art fair today. And I uh eat ice cream, and I play in the water and my baby got um, wet on her butt and, uh, uh, and I uh, and I play and I play in the water fountain and I watch uh, the uh, TV and that's all it the end. <laughs> We're gonna look. I ha I got I got to use a drill. Was it fun? Yes. Yeah. It was fun. Did you? What are you wearing? Are you wearing dinosaurs? Yeah. Do you like dinosaurs? Tell me about it. David. How old are you? Six. Six? What grade are you in? I. Next year I'm going to be in first grade. <coughs> Where do you live? Uh. In David Court.
Miss Banky. Miss Banky? Mm -hmm. Miss Banky? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Miss Banky. Hi, Miss Banky. Do you like being on TV? Yeah. Do you like the microphone? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think it's hot out today? Tell me about the weather. Uh, well, we are in it. Well, we're from Israel, and Israel right now. Real, it's hot, and it's real, really hot. Okay. Really, really hot. So, for us, it's kind of, just just when we got outside, it was cold for us. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Hot to me. <laughs> well, after that, when we were walking, I got, got you used to the hot, and then uh, we just got ice cream. Ooh, ice cream? <laughs> what kind? Uh, I got one which has a cookie dough inside. And my little brother, he, uh, I think he got chocolate. I didn't see his flavor, but maybe it would be chocolate because he loves chocolate. Aw. What's your little brother doing? And what are you doing? I'm getting an egg. He's on the X. And are you shy? Mm. Mm -mm. He's not shy. He, he has a ball now. Can we see the ball? Let me see it. Do you know what letters are? I'm Dana Denhun. This is Art Fair Close Up 2019. I'm here with Angie Nichols. She's a fiber artist and with a mix of other things, right? Yep. So tell me about uh, kind of how you got into fiber arts, because that's an unusual one you don't see a ton of artists in. That's right. Um, I was looking for furniture for my own home and couldn't find what I wanted exactly and in the price point that I wanted. So I just started by picking up a couple chairs at an antique market, taking it apart, and then finding fabrics from all over to cover the chair. And then I, my friend said, you should sell these. And then from there it took off and it's been about 10 years. Nice. So you're obviously you're using like sort of antique chairs. You get these amazing sort of shapes with your chairs, even like the ones we're sitting in right now. So what's that aspect of it? Are you just always looking, going to antiques shops? I'm always looking for something that I don't see at the local furniture store that's not mass produced anymore. This furniture is the good old stuff that's well, well made. And if I find a piece that even needs springs repaired, I'll do that just to save the chair from ending up in a landfill. Nice. Yeah, because, yeah, you're not seeing this quality of chair, but, like, the nice thing, like you said, because these are old, they're built to last. Mm -hmm. So you can fix a spring, and you can still have this chair in your family for probably another 100 years. Right. And I use a lot of grain sacks because that is a, it's a dead art. It's not fabric grain sacks. They're not used anymore. It's all plastic. So I like to find the artwork and look and dig through antique places or vendors all over the country. We go on road trips, my husband and my kids and I, and we, we, we find joy in the hunt for these really cool old fabrics. That's amazing. Yeah, so the fabrics are antiques too, pretty much. A lot of them are, yep. How do you come up with sort of putting different fabrics together? So like you have your leather here, and then this is like a woven sort of fabric. Like right, what? I got this in San Francisco. Um, there are awesome fabric places in San Francisco that get their fabrics from New York, Italy, and San Diego. Um, so I find it just taking the trip out there, because I do have family out there, I can get a lot of unique things that you can't just find at the local store near my house. Um, and then putting them together, I don't know. I just spend a lot of time throwing samples on chairs and then it just kind of comes together. Sometimes it's really funky, like this one back here is just crazy. But some teenage girl is gonna be like, I have to have that for my bedroom. Um, so I know, I teach, I also teach, I teach fifth graders, so I know like the wild things they're into. So, I don't know, I try to th think of a person in mind that might want that piece of furniture yeah. and those certain colors together. And then there are a lot of people like that want neutrals, so a lot of these grain sacks don't have a lot of color, so they're perfect for people that like neutral colors, yeah. neutral tones. How do you upholster a chair? Is it with a machine or? Yeah, yeah I use a sewing machine and I also use a, a staple gun and um, hammer, pliers. I get lots of cuts. Yeah. 
Lots of cuts and scrapes. Yeah. Well, do you have a website people can go to? I do. It's artisticallyvintage.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, thank Angie. You. Stay tuned for more from the 2019 Ann Arbor Art Fairs. Welcome to, uh, welcome to MTV. Uh, I'm the Phil to break the knockoff. Uh, later. Hi, my name is Linda. I'm visiting from Ortonville, Michigan. I come to the art fair every year with my high school friend, Mary, and we enjoy it. And it's, even though it's hot, we're having a great time. Hi. Greetings from Ann Arbor. Tom, Brian. We're from Holland, Michigan. And we're not brothers. And we're, <laughs> and we're here on the hottest, steamiest day, but it's really not all that bad. There's a nice little breeze. And we've been doing this for 33 years. 33 years. Yeah, coming. it's a tradition. Yeah. yeah. From Holland, Michigan. So yeah. it's yeah. great. Yeah. We have to yeah. stay overnight now because. Because we're old. So. <laughs> anyway. We'll see you later. Okay. I live in Ann Arbor and I make it a point to be here every year. Today I'm doing an overview and then maybe I'll come back and buy something tomorrow. You buy things every year? Usually something, yes. <laughs> Matthew Boringer from Chelsea. I'm here to just see the art. How many years have you been coming? Four years. Yes. Anything you like special? I love the Japanese paintings. My pleasure. Hi, I'm Liz Tran. I came all the way from Yokohama, Japan to be at the Ann Arbor Art Fair and uh, I really love it here and um, I just bought myself a birthday present so I don't know if my... Huh? Oh, it's in my purse. <laughs> I bought some jewelry. I don't know if my husband will be happy but um, I'm excited so it's a great event. Everyone should come. Hi. Hi, my name is Abigail and I'm from China. This is my uh, fifth year in the Ann Arbor Art Fair, but this is our third time wearing the Chinese costume. And what's your name? Nicole. Nicole, okay. And this is uh, your second time? Okay, yeah, this is her second time. Um, the best part about the art fair is like, you know, you can see a lot of the different the arts like from everywhere and like, you know, they made by different like materials and all kind of arts. And, I think the other part about it is like, you know, we can wear whatever we want, you know, to present our culture and our arts. Yep, that's it. Can you say something in Chinese? Um, we're very proud to be Yeah. Hi, my name is Mihir Surapanani. I'm from West Bloomfield, Michigan. I was a student here at the University of Michigan, so I knew that every year that there's a great art fair going on. I'm not a big art fan, but I still come by to see what people are doing, and this is my fifth time here. Hi, my name's Audrey. I'm from Tawa City, Michigan. This is my second time here in the Ann Arbor Art Fair. I really just enjoy looking at all the different kinds of attractions and the different kinds of foods because there are so many different delicious meals you can eat here. So, thank you. Hello, and my name is Elliot, and I am from Michigan here in Ann Arbor, and I'm here because I like art fair and there's many interesting things here to look at, get, and watch. And what I like best about art fair is just how much unique stuff there is here. My name is Tegan, I'm seven years old. I live in... What? Freeland. And what I I what I've seen here, um, a bunch of painting things, um, like um, a bunch of stores and stuff, um, and um, cool things a lot too. Very good, thank you. Hi, my name is Ashton, and um, I'm nine years old, and I live in Freeland. My favorite thing about the street fair is um, the M Den. Hi, I'm Sophie, and I'm here because my mom and I go every year. And it's really hot, but I, I made a little fan contraption, so it's all good. And there's a nice breeze. Yeah. Uh, my name is Logan Verlindi. Uh, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Never been here before. I'm here because 
my sister goes here for school and she told us about it and said it'd be a pretty fun time. So here we all are. Uh, I'm this is my sister Avery. Um, I'm here for the same reason. Yeah. I'm Sydney. Um, so yeah, I go to the Stamp School of Art and Design here at the University of Michigan. So wanted to bring the fam out and enjoy some good art on this hot day. <laughs> my name is Christina and I'm eight years old and I love to go to the art fair because we can buy cool stuff. And I'm here with my mom. Um, my favorite thing is being on this show, on this thing. It's my, it's the only thing I remember on, from last year. I'm from Michigan, and my name is Zoe. My favorite thing of the art fair is being here on TV, and my and I live in the United States of America. My name is Lainey. So, what what do you guys need? Okay, my am I, am I on? Okay, my name is Radim Schreiber. I'm from Czech Republic. And I specialize in photographing fireflies, and I have my booth here. You guys can come and check it out. This is an awesome art fair. It's raining right now, but I know it will stop, and you guys should come out. So my name is Justin Hopkins. I'm here from St. Louis, Missouri with my wife, Vanessa. I graduated from Michigan in 2010, so I've spent a lot of time here in Ann Arbor. But my wife has only ever been here for basketball, hockey, and football games. She thought it'd be a nice idea to come to Ann Arbor on a different weekend where there was no sporting event and enjoy this beautiful city. So we are here for the 2019 Art Fair and we are really enjoying ourselves other than the humidity and the recent rain, but so happy to be here from St. Louis and go blue. Hang on. Hello. Perfect. I'm Dana Denhon and this is Art Fair Close-Up 2019. I'm here with David Fitzsimmons. He's a photographer and a lot of his subject matter might look pretty familiar to you, right? I like to focus on common animals. I introduce kids and their families to animals you can find around the United States and particularly right here in Michigan. So I have an actual Michigan book for young kids to learn what's in their backyard. So you're from Ohio though, right? I am from Ohio, but I travel all over the country taking pictures of animals and uh, trying to introduce kids and their families to what's right there. Well, it almost looks like your animals are in the studio. How do you get that sort of look? That's a good question. They're against a white background, and people ask, do I cut them out in Photoshop? And the answer is I actually shoot them against a white background in a product photography tent. I work with zoos, nature centers, rehab clinics. Okay, so you're not, you're actually, like, you have a setup. You're not going out in the wilderness, per se. You're kind of out there, but you're not, like, in the trees. You're bringing the animals to you. That's correct. I bring the animals to me, or that people bring them to me, but I also catch animals out in nature and put them against that white background. I think it helps to see their colors, shapes, and I think personalities. Oh, totally. They really pop in this situation, and it looks like they're lighted properly, too, when you're... Well, I started doing wedding and portrait photography and just turned those techniques to photographing animals. So now I use those same soft lighting techniques to show showcase animals, make portraits of them. And they all look very glossy. Is that like something you're putting on them after? Because these ones are framed over here, but then like sort of this look... Are you just putting a glass over it? Or you... Two types of printing. The ones in the frames are standard jacle, which is the fancy term for an inkjet print. The ones you see behind us are metal prints, and those are a high gloss metal print printed on aluminum. Okay, so yeah, those really stand out to me. They're just different. They, they have sort of a different feel, and I think that almost goes really well with that white sort of background that you're creating with it. I think so. A lot of people think the metal print has a three-dimensional look to it. The way it's printed, it's actually heated into the surface. So then you take these images and then you create books. I do. I'm a former English teacher and I started writing books for kids and their families and so I write about their natural history and in my picture book, the Curious Critter series, we use uh, various dialogues so the animal talks to the reader. So they look like they're looking at you so I let the animals tell the kids about their natural history. Oh, perfect. Do you have a website people can go to to find the books and your artwork? Absolutely. Check out davidfitzsimmons.com. That's D-A-V-I-D-F-I-T-Z-S-I-M-M-O-N-S.com. All right, thank you, and good luck at, the, at this year's Art Fair. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more from the Ann Arbor Art Fairs.
I just wish there was some place I could watch my favorite local TV shows. You are in a computer terminal. Who said that? I am the god of computers. I heard your wish and granted you access to my terminal. Really? I've always wanted to be inside one of these things. So what's next? Visit CTNs and the City of Ann Arbor's streaming and video on the man 82govorg slash watch CTN. What do I do there? Here you can watch city meetings, community produced programs, school board and education programming, and a whole lot more. Yes! This is great! The live streams include CTN's four channels, government, public, educational, and community. Just click the sidebar for the channel you prefer and click play. I can watch four channels. Cool. For video on demand, go to youtube.com slash CTN Ann Arbor to find your favorite show. Scroll through the mini playlists or simply use the search bar to type in the name of the program. I wish I knew about this earlier. Visit 82gov.org slash watch CTN for CTN live streams and video on demand. That's great. Now I can go tell my friends once I leave. Goodbye. Hello? Okay, I'll save that for the... Is it actually going on TV live right now? Right. Where am I? What is this? Who are we? I, I don't know what to say, babe. The, all of the kids, sorry, sorry. All of the kids really appreciated you at JJ Camp this week and they expressed so in a closing circle. Jamie, Chew, you're the greatest. Uh. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm Maggie. I'm Kaylee. Um, Little guy. Hi, I'm Kingston. <laughs> and um, we're at the Ann Arbor Art Fair having a ton of fun. Yeah, we just touched clay. My hands are gross. It's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Yeah. Okay, um, the weather is humid today in Michigan. Um, it's kind of cloudy. We're expecting some... Uh, Showers later in the day. Yeah. What's your favorite video game? Minecraft. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the mic while you play the instrument? Sure. Okay. It just sounds like a frog. Two. Coming to you live from CTN. We're at the Detroit Art Festival. But we're in Ann Arbor. I'm not from here. O-H-I-O. -O. So you know, I made a mistake. But that's okay. It's hot. We're keeping cool with cool ones. We're enjoying ourselves. And as you look around, see the people mingling, enjoying themselves, having a great day. Come out and join us. And have a great day as well. Hi. <laughs> um, I like going to the art fair because I get to see a bunch of cool art. Um, and it's really fun for my family. I like going to the art fair because we get to make clay. I like the art fair because it helps family reaction. Come to the art fair. You'll love it. It's nice and cool and breezy. Come, come. Yeah, just what she said. <laughs> Hi, my name's Robert. Uh, come on down to the art fair. It's a lot of fun down here. There's a lot of great vendors. And then come to the CTN booth and come support CTN. It's a service that helps out the community. It helps teach kids how to use television equipment. It allows uh, people of the community to get their own word out. And it's definitely a service that the community needs. Uh, it's right now, it's under threat by having its funding taken away. Right now, it's not being funded by taxes. It's being funded by when cable companies and internet companies use city grounds to run their wires and run their cable through it. So that funding goes towards a service for the community. So right now, there is a 
uh, I guess you could say a, a law, so to say, that's going to be going through the FCC. So contact the FCC and let them know that uh, public access stations are important and to keep them funded uh, and uh, to make sure that when corporations use public land that they pay for that use and that public land is owned by the public, not by the corporations. Thank you. Ready? They're gonna say, they're gonna do one, two, three. Say hi, mama. One, two, three. Say hi, mama. Nope, not gonna say anything today. Okay. <laughs> Can me and her do it together and be like, we're, we're best friends or something? Yes. <laughs> Come with me. What should I say? Like, just give me something to say and I'll say it. Talk about the art fair, what you saw, what okay, you Okay, I'll do that. Okay, ready? Go for it. Okay, um, today at the art fair, I saw a bunch of, like, glass-blown objects, and then I got a really cool nightlight, and yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm a senior citizen, and I need help. My township has turned my water off. And unless I give them my utility for the development, I can't have water. So anyone who can help, and the utility threatened me with a gun and wanted demanded $30,000, Augusta Township is in great need of police. Hey folks, enjoying my time here down at the art fair. I sure hope everybody has an opportunity to come down and see all that's going on. It's great down here. Just uh, take some precautions regarding the heat. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello, I'm a, my name is Jill Andrews, and I'd just like to uh, thank everybody at CTN for getting me started on a, a career to success. Thank you. Who's coming in after you guys? Uh, oh. Tim? I missed it all. I'm Dana Denha, and this is Art Fair Close-Up 2019. I'm here with Ariana Heinzman and she's a ceramic artist in the Guild's Art Fair. So why don't you tell me a little bit about your background and what led you to ceramic? Yeah, so I started out drawing. Um, I went to the Rhode Island School of Design and I was thinking I was gonna be a children's book illustrator, but then I touched clay and I couldn't stop. <laughs> so That's uh, amazing how that happens because I feel like it was the opposite for me. Like I was so awful at like the wheel and everything that I, I could never go back to clay again. <laughs> Although I like the way it feels in my hands. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so why, how do you make these pieces? Are you using the wheel? Or are you handcrafting some of it? Yeah, they're all hand built. I extrude coils and I'll coil the form up and then I'll smooth down the sides. And then what is your glaze or paint process? Because it looks a little more like paint to me than it looks yeah. like glaze. Yeah. So it is under glaze, it's all fired on and it's uh, more like a pigmented clay slip as opposed to your glazes that are actually melting at that temperature. Mm -hmm. So, and then how do you do, it's like a hand painting that you're oh, putting like the done. leaves in there and stuff? Yep, yep, all done by hand. So how, is, how have you seen your work evolve over time? Is this uh, sort of nature look, something that has happened over time, or is this something you're kind of always working towards? Always super inspired by nature. Um, yeah, uh, but this has started to develop as far as the drawing aspects. I used to be more sculptural, and now um, I just thought I couldn't compete with nature, so I thought I'd just make it all about nature. <laughs> Could you see maybe down the road incorporating maybe some of your children's book illustration ideas into some of your ceramic? Oh, I have never thought about that, but you're getting the wheels turning. Ooh, good. I'm going to have to come back and see what happens down the road. <laughs> do you have a website? I do. It's arianaheinzman.com. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And stay tuned for more from the Ann Arbor Art Fairs. Mm -hmm. 